finally broke down and bought us a Predator 3500 inverter generator. The thing has 18 hours on it right now and we started running into where it had a little bit of stumbling issue on it. I believe what the issue is is the spark arrestor is plugged but I'll show you what it's doing now, I'll walk you through, take the spark arrestor out, clean it and we'll see if that makes any difference. So here's what it sounds like before we do anything. Turn it on to start. Eco mode off. It tries to run a little bit. Turn it over to run. And it's got that stumbling. So we're going to turn it off. We're going to take the camera out of the back side, we'll show you the exhaust side, and we'll get to that. So, first thing we're going to do, we have six screws that we need to remove with just a regular felt screwdriver. Right there is your spark arrestor. Let's pull you in and look at that. Right there's your spark arrestor. What? Two eight millimeter bolts. Go through, we'll remove them. Don't look too plugged. But what we'll end up doing, prove if this was the issue or not, we'll just start it out. If it runs good, then we know it's in the spark arrestor. Reach over here and turn it on. see the screen doesn't look too bad it did have some carbon on it that did get blowed off but you can see how that's all black on the inside you can see how that's all black too we're gonna go through our carburetor cleaner and we're gonna go through and we'll spray it all out we'll see if we can get this to run a little better you can run your generator without a spark arrestor what you run into is like if you're in a national park or forest or a, a state campground or whatever that allows generators to be ran, you start a forest fire, then you could be liable for that. So it's just cheap insurance, just to keep it in here. It, stops, it saves everything. So national forests are beautiful. You want to keep them as nice as possible. So let me get around. We'll get this cleaned up. And we'll see how it runs 
after we put it back together. Now we got the spark arrestor all put back in there. Let's fire it up and let's see what it sounds like. found this quick little video informative please give it a thumbs up and thank you guys for watching bye